Notice. Our courses are taught in English. If you want to see subtitles in other languages, first, we open the subtitles closed captions at the bottom right of the video. Then click setting and select subtitles CC and click auto translate. Now you can choose your preferred language from the list. Good morning everyone. Today we are going to introduce some easily damaged parts on the hash board of Antminer S17e. The first chip is an ASIC chip, BM1396AB, which is also available on the Antminer T17e hash board. If the hash board is abnormal, be sure to check whether there is a problem with the chip. Next, take a look at this chip. It is a PIC chip. If there is a problem with the PIC chip, the domain next to it will be out of power. These two chips are signal conversion chips. After they are damaged, the control board will not receive the signal they send back. These five chips are MOS tubes. If they are damaged, the power supply will not be able to supply power to the following domains. Now the tweezers pointing at is the boost chip, MP1517DR. Its damage will cause an abnormality in the boost circuit. This chip is a temperature sensing chip that we are familiar with. Once it is damaged, the control board will not be able to read the temperature of the ASIC chips on the entire hash board, so the hash board will not function properly. These two different chips are 1.8 volt LDO tubes. If they are damaged, it will not be able to supply 0.8 volt to the chip in this domain. The two chips we are going to introduce next are PLL 0.8 volt chips and their damage will cause ASIC chips of the corresponding domain to operate abnormally. It is a EEPROM chip, also called memory chip. When the files in the chip are lost, or the chip is damaged, the hash board will not operate normally. That's all. Thank you for viewing. If you have any question, please leave a message.